Hi, found this article today, Elon Musk, new tunnel, a little rough around the edges, out of Los Angeles, AP is reporting, Elon Musk unveiled his underground transportation tunnel on Tuesday, allowing reporters and invited guests to take some of the first rides in the revolutionary, albeit bumpy subterranean tube, the tech entrepreneur's answer to what he calls soul-destroying traffic. Let's pull this down a little bit and check some of these pictures out because I find this interesting. They, they modified a Tesla and let's see if we can read this a little bit. A modified Tesla Model X drives in the tunnel entrance before an unveiling event for the Boring Company. So that's the name of the company, Boring Company, and they bought this big boring machine to make this big tunnel for Elon. Elon, he's he's quite the entrepreneur and he's got a lot of inventive mind going. He, he's always thinking about what can we do, but some things bug Elon and one of these things is that traffic. If you've ever driven in L.A., oh my, uh-uh, mm. no way, stay away from there. Let's look at some of these pictures though. The Boring Company, see there's an elevator, this is on the elevator and it's uh, being lowered down into the tunnel. See right here, this is automobiles are set with these big heavy duty caster rollers on the wheels so they've modified this to ride along and these help center the car along the track in that tunnel i find this kind of unique you know i i really wonder if they shouldn't have some other method of holding that down that looks like if if you hit the wrong bump you could actually derail possibly so anyway that's my own opinion this is that big boring machine that they used here this and they bought this used and it's it's pretty amazing you know, uh, a lot of people talk about these sounds and noises that they hear and they couldn't identify where they were coming from. I'm wondering, is this some of those noises that we were hearing all over the internet? It was just a blaze about these noises. Ah, uh, here's more photographs of it, you know. It's pretty interesting. They've they've put a lot into this little prototype tube. And Tuesday, here's a better look at it. See, you can see where the those modified wheels run along this edge and down along this edge, and it keeps it centered on that track. Now, I I think somehow they should have like a lip over to hold that car down in case it comes airborne here but that's my own opinion Elon definitely is a smart man so they had successful test runs they said it was a little rocky because you know he was running short on funds with the paving and this is only a prototype to get his message across to funders so it's an interesting concept you know uh it's kind of like a subway but really fast one car 
get up and go really fast and what was I think he was talking uh, upwards around speeds of 700 plus miles an hour I'm, I'm guessing this off the top of my head I don't remember in the article we'll get down to that this guy right here this is the neighbor <laughs> that Elon bought the place next to him and this is where that big boring machine came out and he said couldn't hear anything so you know that's another one of those things wow you'd think that big boring machine and all that construction and but yet when you live in Los Angeles I'm sure there's this you know deadening to the noise you know the decibel level in Los Angeles just being in Los Angeles alone must be off the chart so yeah interesting this is uh, them going down there's that modified uh, car being lowered on that elevator so let's get into the story a little bit here this came out on the 19th which is today and it came out I'm on mail.com and uh, guests boarded the Musk Tesla Model X and rode along Los Angeles area surface st streets about a mile 1.6 kilometers or kilometers excuse me away to what's known as O'Leary Station the station smack dab in the middle of a residential neighborhood basically is someone's backyard Musk said <laughs> yeah that's that guy <clears throat> uh, consists of a well wallless elevator that slowly took the car down a wide shaft roughly 30 feet below the surface or 9 meters so they lowered the car down uh, see the car jostled significantly during the ride which was bumpy enough to give one reporter motion sickness while another yelled woo <laughs> must describe his first ride as epic as it would be you know I would love to get in that sucker and just put the pedal to the metal let's get in and go yeah that he's got the right idea this is a good good little ride here <clears throat> excuse me he said the rides are bumpy now because we kind of ran out of time oh it was time not money I should have known that Elon and there were some problems with the speed of his paving machine it'll be smooth as glass he said of future systems this just a prototype that's why it's a little rough around the edges so yeah he's been working on this uh, the demo rides were considerably slower 40 miles per hour uh, oh it's 150 it was the other project so this tunnel he's projecting speeds of 150 miles an hour 241 uh, kilometers per hour it still only took three minutes to go just over a mile from the beginning to the end of the tunnel so yeah and then here at the end of this article He talks about another project that he's working on uh, Hyperloop so 
Musk vision for the underground tunnel is not to be confused with another of his, like I just did, transportation concepts known as Hyperloop. That would involve a network nearly of nearly airless tubes that would speed special capsules over long distances at up to 750 miles per hour or 1200 kilometers per hour using a thin cushion of air, magnetism, and solar power. That is exciting and that my friend I believe the government should be thinking about backing his vision on that and you know to transport at that speed in a underground tunnel from east coast to west coast and various locations that's a darn good idea and they're on to the right concept and it's I believe Japan has that hyper train where it's a rail it's a rail train and it's moved by magnetism down this big rail same sort of concept but I could see Ah, uh, like a hog in, you know, the oil uh, pipelines have have that thing, a uh, tube that just runs down a track inside that tube like that at that speed. And, heck, just use it for cargo and pack those uh, capsules full and just send it down the tube you know these are ingenious ideas and they're talking solar power to run these uh, rails to push this capsule machine so that's a good idea like here in Klamath Basin where I live they're popping up with all of these little uh, micro uh, solar plants and they're hooking it right into the main lines at these substations so solar is starting to take off and people had better pay attention back in the 70s you know Jimmy Carter started that movement and they wanted to that's where the White House got its first solar panels and it just did not take off there was not enough push behind it not enough funding so yeah I think the oil men kind of got the better of that so we we kind of got to look at these things when we see articles like this and you know with Elon Musk and his success levels when people listen maybe they should really pay attention instead of criticize all the time this man's a genius and he has all of these ideas and this he just put together as a prototype but yet the genius behind it is just and this gentleman here does it say his uh, Candido Delgado <laughs> I probably butchered that but you know congratulations to this man because he's he's all about yeah well I didn't hear anything it didn't bug me so hats off to that man for putting up with it and it's unique how you can see these panels are formed and it, it's kind of cool I'd like to uh, 
really see that machine in action. I found this interesting and I really wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at this because I found it interesting and I thought maybe you would too. So there you have it, Elon Musk and the boring company has big plans. Let's watch him go.